I started with a simple class in Northeast Minneapolis and after that class my interest grew and I decided to buy my own torch and I started working out of my garage right here. Back up in the woods and top of a hill There stood an old hot tomato um, Professionally, I'd say the easiest way is knowing another glass artist. Um, otherwise, you can always go to school for it. There's not many schools that offer glass programs, um, but there definitely are a couple around the United States. I am going to college for glass blowing. I'm going to River Falls in Wisconsin, and they have a glass program over there. Um, I personally am not part of a studio. I do go to different studios and work with um, the artists there, but I just kind of keep my own little studio in my garage. Basically, I have an oxygen tank, a propane tank, and then my torch and my workbench. Um, and they're all important pieces to glass blowing. The torch is obviously where the gases come out and melt all the glass, and my workbench just kind of keeps all my tools and glass together and in one area. Let me go in Could the hand that you from Save the soul See it burn to raise four walls In front of the shower uh, FOSI is a public access nonprofit glass blowing studio it was started originally by a man named Michael Boyd as his own private studio, and then he started renting it to uh, other glass blowers in the community that didn't have their own studio. And uh, it sort of swelled and grew from there, and now we have about 120 active members, uh, many of which take classes and rent time routinely in the studio. I got into glass blowing by accident. <clears throat> um, I was a musician and I basically quit uh, the band, I quit the uh, music store I was managing and I signed up for some classes at the Noka Ramsey Community College which is uh, the only college in the Minsky system still in Minnesota that has a glass program and uh, it sort of uh, grew on me. And, now it's been 22 years or so that I've been blowing glass. Well, a lot of people are very curious about color and how color is added to the glass. Uh, a lot of people think it's sort of painted in and fired on like uh, ceramic glaze. Um, so a lot of people sort of wonder about that and they're, they're intrigued by the various ways of creating patterns and, and applying color. Um, <clears throat> a lot of people don't realize uh, how physical it is. Uh, something that might only weigh a pound in your hand at the end of a five foot steel blowpipe feels like, you know, 10, 15. And then when it's hot, it feels like even more because it's constantly falling and, and uh, gravity is pulling it towards the earth and you're constantly counteracting that. So a very large piece uh, for us might be 20 or 30 pounds and, and that's uh, really physically demanding. It feels more like 150, 200 pounds uh, when it's that far away from you. You're at a, a big physical disadvantage. So that surprises a lot of people. In the name's no
Ooh, ooh, ooh.